cutter, 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 just please not the cutter, video, please. Okay, here we go. So, this is the cutter video for the Admiralty's Registry series. It can be expected to be the least interesting, the most boring. I will try to make it different. So, let's get started. Okay, my actually my on the side though, my clan mates noticed that my yacht video was over 14 minutes long. I'll try to make cutter video not one hour long. I mean yacht with the so little significance in the game. Cutter has like thousands of purposes. Uh, I will not stretch the video to be one hour long. I'll try. <laughs> to make this video more interesting, I'm also adding screenshots from the process of the modeling a very similar cutter to this one, which is called HMS Shovun, and it's been done by one of the Naval Action players. Actually, the model has been finished, actually submitted to the developers, but they actually never decided to add it to the game, I think. Let's start with the history of the ship, because cutter is not actually just some random model of, of some cutter or you know like generic ship actually cutter is an actual ship that used to have a name and history and uh, it is pretty well known cutter because we used to have thousands of cutters in the history but not of them are so well known as this one basically it's uh, HMS alert the HMS alert ship was built as 12 gun cutter for the British Royal Navy in 1777 which is very important because there are different hms alerts so when you're looking for a specific ship always state the date that it was built or launched in and uh, what about the cutters well they were very small fast ships with a uh, heavy armament based on the information from the internet i'm not sure if you can call six pounders or nine pounders heavy armament but uh, okay and uh, well they were they had a large spread of the canvas whatever that really means I'm not an expert in these topics but that's the information that I found uh, they performed duties as revenue cutters coastal patrols dispatch vessels and scouts so they were very universal they had like lots of different tasks and, and jobs they could they could perform pretty much like in novel action because cutters are used for everything they are used for scouting transporting delivering fishing you can use them pretty much for any task and um griffin kiting things that players do not like let's stick to the topic let's stick to the main topic nothing about griffin nothing about kiting okay so continue the history of the ship the alert was built during the American War of Independence and is well known for her capture of the American brig of war Lexington on September 19th, 1777. And on June 17th, 1778, while accompanying the frigate Aretuza, HMS Aretuza, uh, the ships uh, encountered uh, the French frigate La Belle Poule. So this is exactly the ship that we've got in naval action. These two ships are actually connected. Uh, Bella Pool from 1765, if I'm not mistaken, uh, the fifth raid, and the armed lager, uh, Le Courier. I'm not sure if that's the way you pronounce it, but let's say I'm trying. So, uh, so two ships, British, meet two French ships. They start to fight. Uh, the Belapu has a duel with Aretuza, uh, which Belapu is very famous for that. And Cutter is focused on the lager. So while the frigates dueled, Alert engaged and captured Le Cure. And this is pretty much what the ship is very well known for. And it actually happened really fast because as the ship was launched in 1777, it's exactly the uh, one year away from, you know, the launch of the ship, where all of the action takes place. Now, let's think about actually uh, Cutter and how we have it presented in the game. So, we, we, don't, we don't just have a Cutter. We have a basic Cutter, which is basically a free ship you can see here in, in the shop. In every port, you can buy a Cutter for zero gold, zero reals. And that's why it's used for so many 
purposes and things and because it's free let's take a look pretty much all of the statistics of the basic cutter are the same as the normal cutter that you can craft so what's the difference between the basic cutter and the cutter well the difference is that the normal cutter has 40 br 10 br higher for whatever reason um, the other difference is that the ship is crafted by an actual player so with the current mechanics we have an insurance system that means if the ship is crafted by an actual player and you lose it you get an insurance some sum of money you know to uh to actually recompense your loss and so you can replace your ship have a new one more or less and the uh, other difference the normal cutter can tag players can join pour bottles so it's um it can be used for more purposes but of course it needs to be crafted for resources so it actually costs not a lot it's actually very very cheap if you look at the resources here that will be maybe like um, 500 reals really all of these resources here just my guess uh, probably the laborers are the most expensive from all of that and we have also the truest cutter in the game so actually cutter comes in three forms in novel action and well traders cutter traders cutter have you guys ever seen anyone using traders cutter for trading well i don't know why devs do not notice things like that i mean i've been mentioned so many times that no one actually bothers to repeat that traders cutter let's look let's look um cargo 500 600 if you're using using hold optimization uh, speed if you're building it for fair it's going to be 12.38 with no guns no repairs and no cargo then we look at the traders links and mm, hold 500 the same uh, speed 1404 ah yeah actually it's pretty much the same cost but traders links beats traders cutter on sailing abilities it's much faster at all angles it's just a little bit worse at 15 degrees which is year 11 really you can see the sailing profile on your screen right now if i did not fuck up the editing of the video i, ho I hope you can see that uh yeah traders links beats traders cutter in all aspects so that's why no one in novel action uses traders cutter it's too slow, too slow compared to its brother Trace Links, which does the same job much better. Okay, let's move on to the next topic, which is basically well, I'm not going to record any combat action with the cutter because it's pre it'll pretty much look the same, just like the yacht. It would be just you no know, less interesting because cutter is not looking so nice as the yacht. It doesn't have any cool decorations and uh, no bar figures so I will just stick to the you know basic information I can provide you from the port looking at the numbers numbers and numbers and theory and ex personal experience so cutter can it be used for PvP oh, that topic okay okay well we know a certain player that used cutter for pvp on purpose several times a player that has high rank enough to use any ship he wants but he's using cutter on purpose ah uh, rover clan yeah these freaking rover freaks yeah it's half -fuel. if you guys know him as a moderator we've seen him using cutter uh with some other schooners in a fleet for pvp uh, well the performance of the ship is not really promising so if you want to use it for pvp purposes uh you can do that you know the only reason to do that is just for the you know for the love of the ship so if you love a cutter as a ship that's pretty much the only reason why would you use it for pvp because if we compare cutter here we go 12.68 knots if you make it like oak oak for example just as a reference same build type privateer 14.75 crew difference cutter 40 privateer 60 guns 12 12 okay i'm not sure if the i don't think privateer takes any bigger guns 
but uh, Privateer has also a built-in um, built-in boarding bonus. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but I think it's extra preparation and it has always more preparation at the start, like 12, 20 slash 100. Um, well, it has some sort of a boarding bonus, unlike Cutter. And what else? Privateer was actually introduced into the game as a, I think, cold name, uh, Lynx Refit. I'm not exactly sure. So, like, uh, Privateer is supposed to be a, a PvP pirate version of a Lynx. So, pretty much, Privateer beats also Lynx in all aspects and Cutter. Well, Lynx can be faster than Privateer, but overall, if you compare these three ships, Cutter, Lynx, Privateer, Privateer does the best job. So, what else are we supposed to talk about these ships? I think it's like almost all we can talk about. So, why not just let me close all of the freaking windows and show you actually how the ship looks like? Because you can see it on the image, but it's just 2D. It will be not um, so good look at the ship if uh, I could not really show you guys how the ship, you know, looks just from the port. Okay, there it is. You can see the ship. One must. Six guns per side, no stern guns, no bow chasers, bow spirit, you pretty much lose it to anything. You can hit a flower and the bow spirit is just gonna fall. Uh, what about the sail plant rigging? Well, you have three jeeps, just like the yacht, with the exception that, like, you know, for the yacht, you did not lose that one little jeep when you lose the bow spirit. Well, when it comes to the cutter, I'm pretty sure you lose all of the jeeps on the bowsprit. Yeah, so cutter is actually worse than yacht in that aspect. Um, huge spunker sail and one big main top sail. The yacht has actually two uh, top main sails, square sails. So actually cutter seems to have worse rigging than yacht, but it's actually faster than yacht. So if you, you would you know choose between yacht and cutter for PvP from the numbers aspect, cutter would be better. Well, I think that's all for today's video. I don't want to make it one hour long. Uh, we know that cutters have been used for many dirty purposes in naval action. The ship is really hated by some players. Like used for fire shipping first rates, used for screening, used for Lots of lots of dirty things. Better not to dig them out. Shh, shh, go away, go away, sheep. Okay. So if you like the video, with, you know, was a little bit sarcastic, but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Do all of the fancy stuff that YouTubers ask you to do, like like, subscribe, subscriptions, and so on, so on. And till the next video. Take care.